Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shabanu with Mac Automation Tips again. Hey, I'm back with another video. And this particular one, I'm gonna focus in on one of my useful applications called Timings. Timings helps me to monitor my productivity and in the long run, be more productive. So stay tuned and check it out. All right, so here we are in the application called Timing. And basically, um, timing is a you know it's a tracking application that tracks what you do on your computer when you're at your computer, and it's very useful if you say are a freelancer or somebody who contracts out, and you need to bill according to um, that you know time the hours you spend on a particular project or particular piece of work. Now I don't have to do that. I mean the work the people that I work for pay me on a monthly basis, so I'm not based upon the time. I'm based upon the um, you know the, the just you know the, the project that I deliver and work on. But I also use timing to kind of monitor my own productivity and how I'm spending my time. Because when you work for yourself, a lot of times there's a tendency to do a lot of different things. I mean, you know, my kind of my hands are on a lot of different places a lot of times from day to day. And so I really sometimes really want to monitor how I'm doing and where I'm spending my time. Now, if you go, if I go into the kind of the overview of timing here, you'll see that my productivity score is 59% right now. You know, I've been doing about almost five hours of work today and it's about 59%, not too good. But there's a reason why and I'm going to show you um, how that time is, how that score is going to change in a minute. And we're going to come right back to this. So basically we're going to go to the um, review details here and basically you'll see that there's there's like I have like three kind of broad areas of projects, you know. I have what's called the freelance work, which I pretty much do on other days, like a Tuesday, Thursday, and then I have my daily um, blogging-related uh, tasks that I do here, and then I have non-work tasks. These things are important, but they don't get as rated as high as the things in the daily tasks and the freelance work uh, task and and things that and work there. So. I'm going to show you, um, you know, how the most crucial part of timing, because there's a lot of different features in timing. So if you want to know more about timing, definitely click that like button below. Give me some comments and I'll do some other videos if you like. So here. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the um, all, all activities and then I'm going to click here to add a new project and I'm going to call it uh, YouTube videos. All right. And basically when I, uh, let me move this up some here. When I, when I, you know, kind of do, when I sign a color, I try to sign a color of kind of like orange or, or, or red to the most important productive task or projects that I can work on. Right. So I'm, I'm going to put that as red and then I'm going to go over here and put it to all the way productive. Now timing starts you out with a neutral here. So you have to decide how productive is that particular work or task. Is it really productive or is it not very productive? I'm going to make this productive because it is when I work on these YouTube videos, it is something that is not wasting time. It's, it's, it's a, a very much a part of building my uh, blog related business. And, and, and so I want to make sure that I'm spending time doing that kind of work. Now, another part of this um, uh, project is that you can have timings um, automatically, you know, like capture certain tasks based upon the rules you set here. So you can go in and you can base it upon the keywords or a URL that you're working on or application or a particular app, um, uh, file that you're working in. So just remember anytime that the, any application or file that is in, that's in the forefront while you work, timing is clocking that. It's tracking that time. Like right now, it's tracking that I'm working in um, um, timing. So it's, it's, it's always just clocking that as well. All right. So you can do this manually, but I'm also going to show you how it does it automatically. So we're going to save this here project here under YouTube and I'm, oh, I'm going to put it under my, um, right under here, under my daily tasks that are very important. 
Okay, so you can see most of those are orange or red, right? Now, I'm going to go back to um, right here to my unassigned tasks. You have about four of the tasks have already been assigned, but we're going to go assign these tasks to um, the, the ones that have not been assigned yet. Let me go, go up here again. All right, now, so basically for one, um, I'm using ScreenFlow to record um, this video, of course, right? And so that's going to be, every time that I use ScreenFlow, typically that's going to involve, you know, going to be used for, for YouTube videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Option key, and I'm going to drag that to here, and it's going to assign that time or that application to that particular project, all right? Also, I did... A video about Alfred and I did some you know, a little bit of research on it and kind of playing around and getting it set up so I spent about an hour and 28 minutes and uh, I want to I want to make sure that I clock that time but I'm not going to hold down the option key this time because basically I'm just tracking for the particular day I might use Alfred for other things but I don't want to track it necessarily always just for videos but I'm going to add it to that because it was a part of that time same thing with uh, screen float. I did a video on that, um, and I'm going to track it here. I'm not going to make it permanent, but I'm going to track it in there. Same thing with webcam settings. Anytime this application webcam settings, I open that up. That's also a part of that um, time. So I'm going to option click it, and I'm going to go and put it in YouTube video. Because anytime that I work on YouTube videos, that application is going to come up. Now, I also have uh, the App Store. I'm not going to, that wasn't a part of the YouTube video. That was pretty much, I think it was um, com uh, Computer Maintenance, I believe. Let me see if I can find that one. Yeah, Computer Maintenance. So, you know, it's kind of like, up, you know, it's like time spent um, updating some, some applications. I'm going to put it um, in Computer Maintenance right there, right? So now we got it down to the one minute. I don't know what the one minute was. We don't really care about that. So now let's go here, back down to YouTube project, and we're going to double click. And you notice now that those rules are set up for the screen flow application as well as the webcam settings application. Already set up, and so anytime I open these two applications up, it's automatically going to track it and it's going to put it, it's going to track it to that particular project. Really, really cool. A lot of good automation there. You don't have to do this manually at all. So now when I go back to my overview, right, I'm at 83% of productivity. And that's really, you know, it's kind of a gamification kind of thing going on. But it really is useful because I can look back on my day and say, you know, hey, how was I spending my time today? Was it productive? And I can see also when I have these reds here, that's also important because the reds hold a lot more weight than the yellow. So I want to make sure I'm okay with that. So um, and so just right now is just tracking this week, which is I think yesterday and today. Day is Monday, right? And you notice on Sunday I wasn't productive because I wasn't doing any work on Sunday. I try not to do any work there. But you can also change it to um, the uh, today. So we're going to go back here, right? And you have it here. And you can change it there. And you can go here also and do reports. So like if you want to, to do reports here and send them out as a, I think an Excel sheet or what have you. I haven't really done that, but you can, you know, you can export all the time that you use and give it to your particular client or you can home it down to a particular project and give it there. Notice here, I've also spent 41 minutes already in timing. I usually don't spend that much time in timing, but particularly because I'm doing a video about it and then preparation and all that, spending a lot of time into it today. Uh, let me also go back to review here and show you something else. One of the things, you know, when I use uh, mail and I open up mail, mail is a part of the part of the time that I, you know, spend a lot of time in every day. But I want to make sure that I'm spending no more than, you know, say, you know, 30 minutes a day, really like 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the afternoon. This particular application helps me keep track of that and make sure that I'm not wasting time there. Also, I have a, a category called off task. Sometimes I can get off the computer and I can waste time, you know, like looking at going on Twitter 
and you know on my iPad and spending time wasting time that way. So when you come back to a computer, if you're wasting the computer for a specific a specified amount of time, timing will ask you, do you want to clock that time? And so yes, you can you can manually input that, and and I may assign it. I might have to be honest with myself and say I was off task, and I'm just going to put it there. So I don't want a lot of off task time. So I'm not, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to like just be totally like a perfect 100% every day, but I definitely don't want to, you know, be working all day and then only, you know, spend like 60% of my time doing stuff that's really not that productive. So if you like this particular video, hey, let me know by clicking that like button below. Give me the like button below. Also, give me some comments, ask some questions, and that tells me that you want to see more of this. And then, also, if you're new to this channel, definitely click that subscription button because that lets me know that you're interested in this kind of content and I'll produce it here. So I'm trying to create one video a week, which is not always the case, but I will definitely do that by, you know, if I hear back from you. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.